What's up to the Mo Gang? It is your girl Sneaker Mo, and we is back with another video. Now, before we get into today's video, y'all already know I gotta tell y'all a few things. If you wanna join the Mo Gang, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I post. And let's get this video to 10 thumbs up. Y'all already know how I do. Today's video is a what's on my iPhone right sneaker edition right so this is a sneaker channel so let's add that sneaker edition yeah so we're gonna go ahead and turn on the screen record really quick put in my password turn it on y'all have my lock screen which is my baby okay go ahead and swipe it up soon you swipe it up i have my main page and my main page is the page that i use all my social medias on okay now i am very particular of how i have my apps on my phone i change them every other month or week if i'm really that bored right now i have them color coordinated to the best of my ability but we're gonna go ahead and just go through a couple of the apps that i have and things like that of course y'all see i have the facebook post which i will click on let y'all know i does i do have a facebook okay go ahead and that's my Facebook page. Go ahead and get out of that. We have the weather app, which I'm not going to go into because it has my location. No need to. You have Twitter. I am on Twitter, you guys. I'm always running on Twitter. So if you want to go ahead and follow me on Twitter, there it is. Okay. And then we have the app store, which I don't see. I don't really purchase that many apps. So this, this really doesn't get used that much. So we're going to go ahead and get out of that. Now my mail, I am very particular on my mail. I check my mail almost every day, all the time. So I have my I have mail that gives me like notifications or whatever. That um, yeah, it gives me notifications. I have Messenger, which is connected to my Facebook, just in case you guys write me or anything like that. I get it immediately. I have Safari, which I use very, very often. I'm always on Google. I do not have the Google app or the Chrome app because I just think it's, it holds up space and it's kind of pointless. So, yeah, you guys, as y'all can see, whenever I click on my mail, it always brings up my notifications, which I'm going to try to swipe them off as much as I can. Um, okay, hopefully that was it. <laughs> and then you have my photos, which, you know, I have all my photos in there. And then you have like the Bitmoji, like it has my little girl that I actually just changed her outfit to like a doctor's outfit, you know. And then she has her little dreads like me that's all over the place. Yes. Then we have FaceTime. Y'all all know what the FaceTime app is for. If you want to video call anybody, that's the app to use. I don't really use it that much, unfortunately, because I don't really FaceTime people. I like, I rather text, so yeah and then everybody almost everybody has a cash app comment below if you got cash app on your phone i have the cash app on my phone i use it uh every now and again really not that much so yeah and then i have credit karma which keeps me um on track with my credit lets me know if i have anything that's like a little you know something to be worried about so i don't really use that unless i get a notification then I have Google Maps, you know, which I use to, if I want to go somewhere and I don't know the route, whatever. I have Find My iPhone, which comes with the iPhone. I have Yahoo Mail, which is different from my regular mail. My regular mail has like my channel information, all of that, whatever. But yeah, the Yahoo Mail. Then I have the iTunes Store, which I never, ever, ever, ever use. The Pandora app, I never use as well. I honestly don't know why I have it on my phone still. But because it's there, I'm, I'm, you know, because it matched the color thing, I'm gonna keep it. Then we have the Apple Music, you guys, which I use all the time. Okay, all the time, as y'all can see, you know, I'm always on the latest music. I'm actually feeling right now this Tiana Taylor album. She definitely did her thing. So, yeah, that's an album that I will recommend y'all go listen to. And City Girls as well. That is a great album okay so we're gonna go ahead and get out of that then we have instagram which is right here i'm always on instagram i'm always liking people's picture mostly all the time i'm liking someone's picture so yeah and i always always follow sneaker channels 
and sneaker people on my instagram as y'all can see it's a lot of sneaker stuff so yeah and if you want to follow me here is my instagram this one is my personal account i also have one for my sneaker channel whatever then i have pinterest Pinterest is what I use just every now and again if I'm thinking of another tattoo, but I don't really know how I want it or whatever. That gives me great ideas. And then I have the YouTube Studio app, which tells me everything about my channel that I need to know if somebody comments. So if y'all comment and I'm like commenting the next second behind y'all, so I'm, I'm on it. I got the notifications. I'm always going to reply to y'all no matter how big I get or how small I continue to be. I'm always going to reply to every last one of y'all because the moment y'all comment, it just shows me that y'all love the content that I'm bringing and I'm doing something right. So I'm going to always comment and like it and love everything you guys say, good or bad. And then I have the YouTube tracker, which is kind of the same thing as the YouTube studio, but it kind of keeps tracking. It gives you like a a grade basically on your videos that you upload so if you upload a video and it's at like a 20 percent, it'll tell you the things that you can correct and it'll give you a uh, best out of 11 right so yeah and then i have the youtube app you guys listen i'm always on youtube i'm watching youtube every single day as y'all can tell i got 44 notifications of the people post notification bells that i have on then we have the reminders which i don't believe i have any reminders i don't know and then we have my messages, which I just cleared this morning because I had like 400 plus. So I went ahead and cleared and deleted a lot of things. So now I only have 41 messages. You have the calendar, you know, regular calendar or whatever. So yeah. And y'all see that date right there that I click on? That's my birthday. All right. Your girl will be 24 years old, you guys. So yeah, let's go ahead and get that 500 subs by my birthday. That'd be a great, great gift. My son's birthday is September 2nd. He was born on Labor Day last year. So, yeah. Go ahead and get off that. Then we have the phone. Y'all know it calls everybody. Blase, blase. And then you have Snapchat, which is here. Y'all can probably see me. Okay. It just, like, tells y'all, like, everybody I follow. I follow a lot of famous people and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's Snapchat. Oh, and if y'all want to add me on Snapchat, give me just a moment. There it is. Okay. Go ahead and add me on there. Go to the second page. This is where all my sneakers and shopping page is. You have the Foot Locker app, which, honestly, they always log me out, and I don't know why. Oh, luckily, I'm still logged in. Great right so you have the Foot Locker app and tells you all the shoes that's been released or that's coming things like that i like to check out the new arrivals see if it's something that i like i don't know why they start to do this reebok low thing it's i'm not feeling it but whatever so yeah and then i have the kids Foot Locker app and i have both Foot Locker and kids Foot Locker because kid Foot Locker has a little bit more of the stuff i need for me and my son so yeah and i actually have something in my cart which is the unc to chicago's for my son that i will be purchasing probably after this video and then i have the fashion over app y'all know i can't have all this fashion over my closet without the app i definitely have the app right there you guys i do a lot of shopping on fashion over i'm always on there i probably got stuff in my cart as i do right now hey they got a sale so hey yeah 40 off their entire site so, bam. And then y'all know we have my favorite app of them all, which is the GOAT, okay? And it just shows all the purchases that I've did. And then Style Seat is where I go if I want to book an appointment for my dress to be retwisted and stuff like that. So, not really going to go into that. Then we have J23, which is another sneaker app, you guys. And it just, hey, up to 50% off. No discount needed. Okay. And I, I did not know that, you guys. I, I haven't been on this app uh, in, in a little while. So, seeing that really makes me smile. So, I'm going to go check that out. But this just shows, like, the shoes that has came out or coming out, the dates and stuff like that, the retail price, where you can purchase them at, all that great stuff. And this picture is not uploading. So, whatever. Out of there. Then we have the Kicks on Fire app, which I am always, always on. And it tells you all the releases that is coming. And it actually will tell you who wants it, you know. 
and then the retail price and then if you read more it gives you a little more details and if you like the jordan one og styles they give you other options down here that you can actually like click the buy now and then to give you actually sizes and stuff like that and prices so yeah and then we have the sneakers app which is i'm sure everybody is yeah everybody know about the sneaker app okay unfortunately i personally don't really care for the sneaker app don't don't shame me I, I just don't care that much but you know here it is and sometimes i click just notify me when a shoe drops that one already was notified which one is that yes notify me so i just have them notify me when a shoe come out and it'll tell you the sizes that it started for men and women and this actually comes out in a women's size so hey we're gonna pop we're gonna cop those okay so yeah oh hey notify me about those i like those these um alternate grape i'm i'm still on the fence about so if you guys you know want to review on that just give me a moment to think about it okay <laughs> And then we have the TJ Maxx app. I shop all the time on TJ Maxx. They have great, great designers and stuff like that for a reasonable price. Then we have the Nike app that I have not been on in a couple of days. Honestly, you have the Nike app and then it just, you know, you go ahead and see what you want. I normally, whoop, drops, okay? New and upcoming, it is tell you everything that's coming out and things of that nature and the prices and blase blase hey look at that coming soon sometimes i haven't notified me as y'all can see you know so yeah out of that then we have um uh, this sorry you guys i meant right to here, say direct kicks district kicks is a sneaker app that i came to know about on instagram like i said i follow a lot of sneaker uh, pages and i came across this and it's just a sneaker app that's like sell new and used shoes so if y'all looking for some shoes and stuff like that that's in a good price range this is the app to go to you know and it tells you if they're new or used or whatever and they tell you the size you know and stuff like that like these right here is pretty dope pretty clean as you can tell up oh, it has a crease so probably not but for 80 dollars, you know it's not that bad okay and then we have the finish line app you guys my favorite app of them all finish line app i love it you guys i'm always shopping on finish line i'm always on here i'm always always on here and seeing if they got some new drop old drops blase blase you know just see so yeah you guys hey look they have the fire red still in stock up oh, just only in a five i mean a four and a five so not that many these drop today let me know how y'all feel about those not for that price but to each his own okay so so far that's the only good shoe that i see on finish line right now i'm not really seeing any other shoes that i would actually even look at they have the varsity reds but i already have these and they basically got almost every size so yeah okay but we're gonna go ahead and get out of that because i'll be on there forever trust me and then we have amazon y'all know what amazon is i don't even have to go ahead and get into the app then we have bye bye baby if you guys have a baby or a cousin or niece, a nephew, brother, sister, whatever, this is an app that you guys need. And hey, earn my refunds anyway. Hey, okay, listen, I'm just not seeing this stuff. So this is a great deal up there. So if y'all want to go ahead and check that out. And then we have Champs Sports. I don't really shop on Champs. I think the last shoe that I bought from Champs was the Jordan 2 Women I don't even know the name of those. They were like the rainbow shoes. And then I got them. I couldn't fit them. So I sent them back. They didn't have my size anymore. So they gave me my money back. And I just left Champs alone. But hey, here it is. Boom. Then you have Stock X. Y'all know I got the Stock X. Always on Stock X. You know, you get to see the shoes that's climbing the charts, that's most popular, stuff like that. Um, what is these in this box? Okay, whatever. It went away. <laughs> it said 25,000. I mean, <laughs> 2,500, so I don't want it. Then you have eBay. I honestly have not purchased off eBay. Um, Besides those shoes, like the Jordan Wool 3s, and after that, I left it alone. I was very disappointed. Basically lost a lot of money. So I left that alone. And then you have the Roku app. If you have the TV or the remote control, y'all know that's something that you can use to control it. 
I have the FedEx app and I have the UPS app because I need to be able to track my packages. Okay. And I also have where they send me text messages, anything that's new, but I also need to go ahead and check on it as well. I will click on them, but I have packages that's coming and I don't want my address. So yeah. Then we have Victoria's Secret, you guys. I shop on Victoria's Secret basically just for perfume and lotions and body mist and all that great stuff. So I'm always on there and we can go and see if they got any deals, you guys. They do. All these apps have deals, you guys. I'm giving y'all a lot of deals in this video. So yeah, I'm always on here and I'm always shopping. I basically, like I said, just shop for the body mist and stuff like that. Nothing more. Then we have AliExpress, which I don't know if people know about it, but I have it. It's a great um, app for like overseas and stuff like that that has good prices stuff like that i have a tumblr but i have not used this in years okay but i do have one so yeah then i have the walmart app which i mean i'm not really gonna go to because it's a walmart app you know whatever then you have your camera your settings your calculator and your contacts stuff that y'all already know what's in it and what it's about because it comes with the phone Next, next underline, we have the notes, the health, the files, and the clock. Again, stuff that comes with the phone, so I'm not going to go ahead and get into it. And then we have the Xfinity app. You watch any movies, anywhere you want to go, blase, blase. This UNC app, honestly, did I? I don't know if I'm still logged in. Okay, I am. They have a lot of great movies on here, you guys. Urban, everything. There's some nice movies on here. Some stage plays, stuff like that, so yeah if y'all see the notifications pop up i'm sorry i have a lot of notifications coming my phone for like post notifications youtube all of that then we have amazon prime y'all know what that is we have amazon music then we have the movie app that tells you all the movies that's coming out you know if it's come to a theater near you the prices stuff like that netflix y'all know what that is netflix and chill no i'm just kidding but it is a next flick next flick what next flick okay whatever it is the app okay the braces is screwing me up right now. And then we have Cut Pro, which is one of the apps that I use for editing. You guys, I edit a lot of um videos and stuff on Cut Pro. Also, iMovie. I edit a lot of movies on <laughs> a lot of videos on there, you guys. And then we have Project, uh, I mean, sorry, Pocket Video that I only used that one time to try to make an intro and it was just too complicated and I just never deleted it, but it's there. This is where I do my thumbnails right here. So you could just basically just click any photo that you want. You click the add button and it'll take you to your photos. And then you can just write the right in and add icons and stickers and all that great stuff. Right. And then over here we have the personal, um, the personal account, like where it has my bank information, all that stuff like that. So I'm not going to go into and then we have the games app. I don't really play these games, but I have them because I have a lot of um, history on them and I don't want to lose it. I have the Madden. I love that. Sometimes it's a little complicated. I have the um, Property Brothers. I love HGTV. So I play the app and I get to decorate houses and stuff like that. Cookie Jam, you guys. Listen, I am on level. Give me a moment. <laughs> Give me a moment. I'll tell y'all what level I'm on, okay? If you don't play, you know, almost every day, you'll be on a strike and you get little points and stuff like that. I am on level 688, you guys. So I definitely play this very often, as y'all can tell by the level. And then we have free play, which is the Sims, you guys. I am on level. Let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, well, let's see how long it's going to take me. Okay, it's not taking me that long. I haven't been on this in a couple of months when i say a couple i mean literally a couple so yeah we're gonna go ahead and get into this and tell y'all what level i'm on i haven't played this in so long you guys oh my gosh and i used to spend buku dollars on this app when i got paid decorating my houses and stuff like that so yeah and i, I don't feel like doing other challenges or nothing like that i'm just gonna show y'all okay if i can Oh, God. No, I don't want to do all that. Jeez. Got it. Got it. Got it. 
oh my gosh, you guys. See, this is why I don't really be on it because they always have these pop-ups, okay? So as y'all can see, I am on level 43. You know, I got 1.3 million to my name. You know, this is my town revenue and all of that. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get out of that. And then we have the Dave & Buster's app, which I use anytime I go to Dave & Buster's and get play cards and stuff like that on there okay and then we have the food app i have texas row house which is my favorite restaurant oh my god it's my favorite the rolls and the chicken critter salad mm. okay then we have i ands you know y'all know the pretzel place we have the cheesecake factory let me know have y'all tried their cheesecake it's amazing and then we have the ihop app you know nothing like special then we have the sneaker con app and a shirt app so yeah you guys this is basically my iphone okay there it is nothing really special so hope you guys enjoyed this video y'all know what to do if y'all don't don't forget to like comment and subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you can be notified when i post i love every last single one of y'all and i'll see y'all in the next video